All right, check this out. It's Parsha Tetzava time, and you know what that means. It's Hebrew Fashion Week. Yay! At least if you're a priest. What we wear is a message about who we are, whether you're a chef or you work at the dump or you're one of those men in black looking guys. Uh, you know, for a special job, you've got special clothes. And usually the clothes are just for show. You know, they're there so everyone respects you or fears you. And if you're an MIB agent, everyone pretty much has no idea who you are. That's the idea. So in a way, it's like fashion and function. Same way with those priestly dudes. There are several parts to their garb, and each one is laid out in the Torah. This is sort of weird, because the Torah is usually pretty vague. We don't know about the fashion sense of the matriarchs or the patriarchs, unless there was some special reason for knowing about it. Like the cloak Jacob gave to Joseph. Uh, but here the Torah goes into OCD mode about every part of what the priest should wear, from his apron to his robe, tunic, turban, and sash. Now check this out. The apron had to be made of gold. The gold had to be spun so thin that it became a thread. That seems impossible. Then it was woven in with turquoise, purple, crimson, and wool and linen. Now remember that wool and linen thing, because this is going to be important later. See, in the Torah, the Israelites are instructed not to wear wool and linen together. There's no practical reason for this. It's just one of those laws that only God knows the reason why. Hold on. In Tetzava, the high priest is commanded to mix wool and linen. He actually has to do it. It's the only way to make the priestly clothes. Snap. We've got to come up with a reason for this. Now, maybe it has to do with the temple itself. God instructed the Israelites to build a temple as an atonement for the sin of the golden calf. In fact, that was one of the reasons why the temple and the priestly clothes had to contain a lot of gold. God was demonstrating to the Israelites how they could turn their negative experience with idolatry into a positive experience with the temple service. It's all about taking what you've got and using it in the right way for the right reason. It's tempting to get angry that you can't do certain things. According to the laws of kosher, Jews can eat milk and they can eat meat, but they can't eat cheeseburgers. The temple and the priestly garments are kind of like that. Priests were there to service their people and create a holy space to offer sacrifices for their sins. So quit complaining that they get to wear awesome outfits and you don't. They're busy guys doing busy guy stuff. But here's the great news. If you get busy making the world a holy place and serving others, you can wear whatever you want. Baruch Hashem.